Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're doing great and I hope today is a wonderful day for you. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tiara Putri Susatyo and you can call me Tiara. I am 15 years old and I'm currently studying at SMK Printis 1 Depok. And I'm gonna deliver a speech about the role of technologies in improving education in the digital era. I really hope you guys have a great time while listening to my speech. Let's begin. Now, we live in 21st of century, which means the digital era. Let's go back to the past before digital era, or when digital technologies isn't exist yet. When the students still studying in a very modest way. They only studying using simple stuff like simple stationery, some books, and paying attention to their teachers. Also, they studying a simple subjects that not as hard as our subjects today. And now if I compare the education before and after the digital era, of course, the quality of education has been improved so much better. Isn't it amazing? Now we can easily access many information for our insight just from using this tiny phone. Our generation also has a privilege for accessing education. Digital technologies, moreover, helps all the teachers to teach their students. It enables teachers to engage their students in unique, innovative, and equitable ways. Now, in modern classroom, digital technologies have become more necessary. The smart whiteboards and digital textbooks have been replacing the traditional blackboards and books. A plain school activities that only require some simple stuff become a school activities that way more fun and interesting. If I give you a little bit of examples, there's a computer in our school computer lab and there's a projector for doing a presentation in the class. And there's still a lot more. We should be thankful to all the figures who discovers these technologies. And I will give you two examples of those figures. The first one is Charles Babbage. He's a guy who discovered the first computer in the world. He's also known as the father of computer and a mathematician from England. He's originated the concept of programmable computer, and he created those machines that could operate arithmetic calculations. There's a lot of benefits that we can get from using a computer, such as processing data, doing online research, making documents, and there's a lot more. And the second guy I can tell you about is Blaise Pascals. He's a guy who created the first calculator in the world. He was a French mathematician who lived around 17th of century. He started working on these calculating machines around year 1642 called Pascal's Calculator or Pascaline. A calculator allows us to solve our math easily and saving our time. Just imagine, if there's no such thing as calculator and then your teacher gives you a plenty of math homework, you're gonna sit on your chair all day till your back hurts while counting all these numbers in your head. Just thinking about it makes me stress already. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna stress about it too. Okay, that's it for the figures. I'd say they will be proud of the technology that they have created, which very useful for all the people in this world. 
Okay, guys, that's it for the speech. I hope it's gainful to you, and I would like to thank to all the people who supported me to join these competitions, especially my teachers and my close friends. Winning this competition really means a lot to me and my school. I hope you guys doing great, and thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.